Hey guys, and welcome back to Paints Plays Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we defeated Wally and got ourselves here to Victory Road, and now we're gonna traverse this massive cave to get to the Pokemon League. There are. Oh, forgot to throw it down a repel. Lovely. Yeah, I, uh, as you noticed, I. With Bill and I, I have him up to 42, and I trained him up a bit to. You know, so I'm not vastly under leveled compared to the trainers in here. So, yeah. Anyway, so let's go and um, make ourselves through this long cave here. And uh, there, like I said, there are quite a few uh, strong trainers in this area, so you might want to train up a bit. So I did grind on the wild Pokemon in this area to get a bit stronger and whatnot. Let's switch out to um, I'll switch out to Fluff. And, uh, so, yeah, so, there's not much to talk about in this area, it's just a really long, uh, puzzle cave that you go through and, yeah, there's not much to it, and once you get to the other side, you're at the Pokemon League and the rest of the Grand City. So, yeah. It's, uh, this uh, Victor Road is actually not very long at all, and not, actually not all that tough to traverse. Uh, my favorite Victory Road, actually, is probably, uh, the first Black and White. I mean, the original does have a special place in my heart, but the original, I mean, not the original, the Black and White, uh, version of Victory Road is just so unique compared to the rest of them, in my opinion. But, um, enough of that. I'm getting on butt saying toast by this Roselia here. Finish it off. Awesome. Well, let me throw it on a. Let's see. Wild wow, cookie, that's right. Got a handful of those left. Hey, if, you, if I kept Flash, I could use it for this area, but I forgot to keep it. So crap. But anyway, so there are, is a strength puzzle in this area. So having Flash would help. Most definitely. In this area here. But I'm, uh... Yeah. Crap. Um, see, I think I might just, like, speed up through this area, because I really just don't have anything to talk about, so... I shall see you guys in a few minutes.
And we're finally out of that cave. So, um, if you notice there was an Inkata in my party, I, uh... I'll probably already have a text on the screen, but I'll explain it anyways. Uh, I decided to just clear out the trainers off screen and then uh, use Flash. That way you could see where to go in case you decide to use Flash. And, uh, so yeah. And I, those are the only two trainers I hadn't fought. But anyways, so yeah, now we're at, finally at the Pokemon League. And in the next part, we'll begin challenging the Elite Four. And, uh, but between parts, I'll definitely be uh, training up my Pokemon to prepare. So, um, actually, before I even do anything else, something I want to do. Okay, so, uh, Bill and I's at level 44, and, uh, I want to off screen train a lot to, like, everyone's to level 50. So, um, you know, I want to go and show this. So, I got this rare candy, and I'll level up Bill Nye to level 45. And, what? Bill Nye is evolving! And Bill Nye the Vibrava has gotten to his final evolution and the final evolution for our team. Our Bill Nye is now a Flygon, the ground dragon type. I'll go and do the summary and then I'll end the part. So, uh, yep. Flygon, the mystic Pokemon, is a ground dragon type with great attack and speed. And it averages on the rest of its stats. Its height is 6 feet 7 inches, and its weight is 180.8 pounds. Its only ability is levitate, there are no hidden abilities, and its gender ratio is 50-50 on both sides. So, uh, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye